Hello dear colleagues, this is avionics, equipment of civil airplane and today I would like to tell you about digital data bus. As you remember from my previous videos, a modern airplane has following structure. We have multiple line replaceable units and uh, of course some airplanes can be equipped with integrated rack. Uh, according to integrated modular avionics uh, approach. However, most airplane just includes a uh, simple structure with uh, multiple LRUs. And uh, also we have talked that usually LRU can be associated with one system. It means each system it is a particular LRU with a particular number of size. And uh, we have multiple LRUs. And each system or LRU perform particular task. And after performing this task, uh, each system have to share results of uh, its operation with all other equipment on board and of course with electronic flight instrument system to visualize uh, results for pilot. Thus, LRUs on board of aircraft uh, should be connected with a specific data links. It means that uh, we need to use some physical layer for data transferring, which usually uh, perform with the help of uh, multiple wires connection. Uh, therefore, for normal avionics operation, we need to use multiple data buses on board of aircraft to support data exchange between different LEUs. Also, we have a big amount of sensors. And it means that all of these sensors we need uh, to connect to our LRUs. Also, take attention that all LRUs are grouped together in avionics bay. And it means that uh, we need to use some wire connection between sensors on board of aircraft and a particular LRU in avionics bay. That's why uh, there are different types of sensors uh, which requires different types of uh, uh, signal uh, to travel from uh, sensor to LRU. That's why different types of data buses uh, should be used on board. And uh, therefore on board of aircraft we have uh, different uh, generation and different types of uh, standards for data transferring between LRUs and between LRU and sensors. In more general thing, uh, data links or data buses support data exchange between different electronic equipment and uh, it includes avionics. Systems, subsystems, units and modules uses data buses to connect with each other and with other equipment on board of airplane. Data bus, it is not just a data link. It is a specific set of tools that provide interaction of different electrical system elements. In common uh, data bus is a set of logical and physical levels of data transferring and receiving. Also DB or data bus is a set of rules, algorithms and time synchronization for data exchange between uh, equipment uh, structural elements. Therefore data bus plays important uh, role on board of modern airplane. Also, if you uh, remember, modern uh, LRU is much more typical to computer-based equipment. And it means that inside we have 
some elements identical to our personal computers. If you talk about uh, on the structure scheme of LRU. And it means that uh, we need to use uh, not just some simple data bus for one or two parameters data transferring. We need to apply a real network uh, equipment to uh, power a, re a real uh, data exchange network which support packaging, addressing and all layers of data transferring. Nowadays to support modern systems because we have uh, plenty systems because uh, you remember that each system uh, should be uh, reserved and it means that we have two identical LRU operated uh, simultaneously. And it means that from uh, all of these LRUs we have the same amount of data, uh, however this data will be different uh, due to uh, a a effect of uh, noise. Thus data bus should support data transferring uh, of huge amount of data and in most cases it depends on uh, performance of data exchange channel, it means that uh, the speediest channel uh, it is the best. However, you also remember that historically uh, data buses uh, pass through their long way of development, the same with electronics. And it means that uh, generation of electronics and uh, types of electronic uh, components has been changed and it means that data buses also has been changed uh, during the time of historical development of electronics. Uh, thus first of all let uh, talk a little bit about data buses and uh, important that data buses uh, can be used on different uh, levels of uh, connection. First of all, data bus we can find inside of each LRU to support internal data transferring or local data transferring within elements of line replaceable unit. If you remember, we, here, we have some uh, processor equipment, we have some uh, memory, we have uh, some network uh, devices, which is usually input and output uh, uh, micro scheme of coding according to particular standard RN uh, 629, RN 429. It depends on uh, onboard structure of aircraft. Uh, of course, uh, it uh, needs uh, to be connected. Uh, some uh, sensors to our LRUs or maybe some antennas. Thus we need to apply some analog to digital converter and uh, in opposite side digital to analog converter. All of these elements, which means equipment, micro schemes of uh, performing this uh, task, uh, has to be connected with the help of local data bus. And uh, usually a uh, simple bus topology is use, uh, used uh, for support data transferring within line replaceable unit. Uh, next, at their system level, uh, data buses can be used for connection different line replaceable units uh, together. Uh, and in this case also we cannot apply the same uh, data bus uh, standard for in local data transferring inside of LRU and external data transferring between uh, LRUs. At these levels, we have to use absolutely different approaches for data transferring. 
Then, uh, for avionics, it is also important because uh, equipment systems and LRUs, uh, most of them, are located at the avionics bay. It is a spe special uh, part of aircraft. However, sensors which operates with a particular system um, LRUs uh, are placed uh, along the airplane. And in this case, we need to uh, use a specific wire connection to connect uh, remote sensors for our line replaceable units. And uh, also, it is important that uh, there are different types of uh, data buses. And uh, data bus for data transferring between uh, LRUs cannot be applied for data transferring between uh, sensor and LRU because uh, there are different uh, nature of data and there are different requirements for, uh, for performance of this data bus. That's why um, modern airplane use multiple standards uh, of uh, data bus uh, to support a data exchange on board of airplane. And uh, at some system level also we can specify that uh, a few LRUs can be used for uh, one system. Uh, design and in this case also LRU uh, sorry data bus can be used for data exchange uh, between different systems uh, in this case which re requirements for data bus we can specify uh, in order to support uh, avionics normal operation First of all, we need to talk about uh, near real-time operation. What does it mean? Uh, as you remember also from my previous uh, lectures, that if you talk about digital uh, data transmission, we cannot talk about real-time. Uh, we talk about real-time like in gaps, because if it is digital data, it uh, by default cannot be real time. Only continuous analog signal can be uh, used for real time uh, data transferring and real time uh, like computation and performing some tasks. In this case, uh, we need to talk about a possibility of data bus uh, to perform speedy data transferring because if we use uh, small time of discretization it means that we have uh, more informative data and uh, uh, high frequency of discretization told us about uh, near real time However, for different parameters, we have different frequency of measurements and different frequency of uh, issue, uh, issues these parameters. Thus, real time, it's not like uh, simultaneously. It means uh, near real time. And, and it means that we need to support bit rate of data uh, bus channel. Uh, to, to be valid for uh, operation of modern onboard avionics. Next, also we talk that environment on board of airplane for electrical signal is not friendly because there are a lot of generators uh, and electrical current generators and uh, of course some high frequency generators and uh, these generators perform electromagnetic radiation and this electromagnetic uh, radiation caused uh, some noise in our wires 
uh, actually it caused noise uh, everywhere in metal construction or conductor. Uh, however, when we transfer the data, even small currents uh, can disturb our data exchange. That's why a uh, modern airplane includes only digital data links, because digital data links are self-protected from influence of uh, external uh, electromagnetic induction. That's why it is important and it makes uh, the whole uh, system more resistant for uh, uh, interference. Next, modern digital data transmission is a re resistance to failures. In this case, I mean that uh, during the transmission, some values of data um, can be disturbed or can be affected by some noise factors which degrade uh, transmitted data. Uh, it means that uh, it will be glad if during the transmission, first of all, we need to identify if the data transmitted correct. If it is correct, it is great. However, modern uh, data buses uh, uses not only like checking for uh, data uh, correctness uh, transferring, it also can use specific algorithms for data recovery. Thus, if you have uh, some uh, problem with data, we can apply mass formulas for recover uh, transmitting data. And um, it is also very important thing. Uh, of course, at the level of line replaceable unit, we have built in system of control. Usually it is a software task because uh, LRU is connected to the uh, data bus of um, airplane and from this data bus LRU can have a table with multiple parameters and in case if uh, LRU cannot have one parameter uh, inside of LRU we can initiate specific algorithm of parameter recovering it means that LRU can automatically recalculate parameter which is lost from another available parameters. Of course per performance of this calculation is not uh, good, however it is one of the possible way how it works. Uh, because in uh, each LRU we have processor and uh, calculation it is only computation task. That's why if we lost one of parameters, uh, we can recalculate it by mass formulas uh, inside of each LRU. And it makes our system more reliable. Uh, also, uh, each LRU has a list of uh, recovered parameters. It means that if we lost something, we can uh, recover uh some of particular values that's why uh, resistance to failures uh, can be on both level on uh, level of data bus transferring when we can uh, detect uh, correctness of data transferring and then uh, also the most advanced uh, data link uh, channel can use recovering of lost sequence of data. However, each LRU, in case of uh, lost some data, can recover uh, transmitted parameters from another data if it is available. Uh, 
low go to, go, goes next. Uh, the delay in the transmission of information must be deterministic and sufficiently small. It means that uh, time of data transmission uh, should be continuous with particular frequency. It is important because uh, if uh, frequency of data transferring for particular parameter will be waived, it means uh, that for system it's not good because uh, a particular system can be required for its operation data with a particular frequency and if we have fluctuation of this frequency it means that it can be problem however in most case it caused uh, by uh, interference influence on data channel uh, Therefore, the next one, uh, data channel should be protected from external influence and can ensure the possibility of operation in case of various environmental influences. Thus, data transmission uh, should be made by a wire or optical fiber channel which uh, protect data from external influ influence. Uh, like extremal temperature, extremal uh, humidity, and other parameters like vibration, uh, influence dust, oil, and many, many other things. Uh, each uh, data bus, as LRU, should uh, generate its health status. It means microschemes of data bus operation uh, should include uh, specific uh, algorithms of uh, health uh, identification which indicate for uh, all systems on board about a possibility of data transferring. Uh, also in this case uh, it is important that uh, all data buses on board are reserved. It means that we have primary data bus and we have standby. And uh, detection of uh, health status, it means that some data bus uh, can be identified as a uh, broken data link. And in this case, automatically we need to switch to data transferred via parallel standby data bus. Also, modern digital data bus uh, should be universal. It means uh, changing modules should not lead to significant changes in other blocks of the system. Therefore, uh, as a global data bus, it is a good if you use uh, one type of specification for data bus. And for sensors, for example, we can use another one. For internal, uh, for each LRU, we have third type of uh, data bus. That's why uh, data bus should be universal and support data transferring of uh, different data. Different parameters, uh, including like textual, video, uh, or audio data. Like in our local network, Ethernet, where we can uh, work with the packets and we can put in packets whatever we would like. Thus, we have a data and we pack this data in our packet and we can transfer it to a particular LRU with a specific addressing system. Also, uh, which is important, uh, I have talked about uh, it each time. Uh, avionics is a uh, highly speed developing means of electronics. And uh, it means that uh, each 20 years, approximately, based on historical development, we have new systems. 
And uh, actually now we have one set of systems. In 20 years, we can uh, predict that we have some new systems on board. However, aircraft, which is developed now, uh, will be operatable in 20 years, probably. And it means that onboard structure and global data bus should follow uh, the main roadmaps of avionics development. It means that uh, it makes possible to connect new systems which will be generated in 20 years to be placed on board of uh, airplane developed 20 years ago. This is the main requirements for data bus on board of airplane. Uh, however, as you know that uh, during the electronics development and avionics development, uh, we can specify four main generation of uh, network types on board of airplane. First of all, uh, when we talk about uh, beginning of avionics, we need to talk about distributed analog architecture. Sorry. In this case, uh, you remember that uh, during this period, it was uh, mostly uh, vacuum bulbs technology in electronics. And it means that uh, we most data transferred uh, via data bus was in analog form. Therefore, uh, for such kind architecture, we need to use multiple wires for transferring uh, a lot of data. Each pair of wires is used for transferring only one parameter. And it uh, generates multiple wires connection. Due to noise influence and after invention of transistor technology and then switch to micro schemes and microchips, uh, analog data buses uh, became not welcome on board of modern airplane for those time. And approximately in 10 to 20 years, uh, all avionics equipment uh, has been switched to the distributed digital architecture. In this case, uh, they use uh, the same amount of wires. However, data transferred uh, via these wires has been changed to digital form. Thus, uh, they provide um, uh, resistance to their noise influence during the data transmission. However, number of wires still huge on board of uh, those airplane. A little bit later, also 10-20 years, it was uh, developed and implemented federal digital architecture. The main idea of it is uh, using a network topology. It means that we have global data bus, we have uh, some amount of local data buses within uh, a small group of uh, LRUs. And uh, this is like a pure network topology. And now we can talk about integrated modular architecture, where we have a set of integrated racks, which includes local data buses for data exchange between line replaceable modules. And all integrated racks are connected uh, to their global data bus with the same connection to LRUs. And during this uh, development process, during this four generation of avionics uh, goals, uh, we see a reducing of sizes, uh, power supply, and number of wires on board of airplane. And at the same time, 
we increase computation uh, performance of data bus and equipment use, uh, we increase uh, bit rate and we increase flexibility of system. Uh, if we uh, look back uh, and talk about distributed analog architecture, uh, you remember that uh, data transferring in analog form is not welcome on board of airplane because multiple uh, environmental effects can um, degrade parameters transferred in analog form. It means if we associate particular parameter value with uh, amplitude of voltage within two wires, then uh, during the data transferring uh, in channel, noise can affect it and our voltage amplitude will be uh, changed a little bit. And finally, parameter transmitted also will be changed. It means value of these parameters. And uh, another important thing it is number of wires, because for each parameter we need to spend two wires. Thus, if we have multiple systems, it means we have huge amount of wires. Uh, in this case, if you will have possibility to visit a uh, museum of historical aviation, please look uh, on board of historical airplanes. And if it is possible, you can find uh, at the uh, top part of airplane uh, so big uh, so big uh, amount of wires which goes from the tail to the avionics bay through the whole airplanes and the problem is that it uses multiple mechanical connectors and multiple wires and mul multiple places where these wires can be broken including mechanical connections between them and uh, it is really mess and uh, even so difficult to imagine how engineers can uh, maintain, perform maintenance of such kind of avionics without computer-based systems, with only uh, also historical voltmeters and equipment uh, for checking the circuits. Thus, uh, Analog distributed architecture nowadays, of course, is not welcome because uh, there are multiple problems with it. Uh, a little bit later, it was uh, introduced distributed digital architecture. Uh, if, I, if you remember, also I have talked that in this case, uh, signals transferred via data bus has been changed from analog to digital form and only by this we increase uh, performance of system and we increase resistance to influence of error. However, we cannot use real-time processing and this is the main disadvantage of digital uh, avionics. However, in distributed digital architecture, uh, amount of wire still present at a uh, high level. It means that we use uh, a lot of wires connection for data transfer. And also what I would like to add that uh, first civil digital data bus, it was uh, Arenk 429. Uh, which was developed during 1970. Thus, um, it also needs some time to uh, total integration of this specification on board of most airplanes. Distributed digital architecture 
solve a particular task. First of all, it increases resistance to in error influence. However, it cannot reduce number of wires significantly. Thus, uh, we need to wait until we have uh, more uh, computer-based equipment on board of aircraft. And approximately beginning from 1918, uh, it was era of federated digital architecture, which is uh, highly used today. Federated digital architecture means that on board of airplane we have federation of avionics. Federation, it is a group of avionics which uh, uses uh, approximately the same list of parameters for system operation. As an example, navigation equipment use requires approximately the same data then uh, equipment for uh, guidance uh, airplane also requires the same amount parameters of airplane therefore uh, within each federation we can use local network like in our ethernet Ethernet is built with the help of uh, network and local, global and local network. And then we have a network uh, topology. We have uh, packets transferred uh, within this uh, network uh, with uh, quite developed uh, addressing system, which make possible a data transferring from one LRU of one local network to another LRU it in another federation of avionics. Uh, what is the reason of federation, uh, federated digital architecture? Why we cannot use one global data bus? Because logically, if we have ideal data bus, we can all equipment uh, make be connected to one data bus and via this data bus we can uh, transfer all the data. The main idea is that a uh, particular group of LRUs which requires uh, approximately the same data for its operation uh, will exchange the data highly between uh, the federation of these avionics. It means that navigation equipment highly data exchange between each other. That's why in this case uh, the most packets transferring will be within local network and only a few data will be sent to the global network. Thus, local network helps to uh, improve performance of global data exchange. Because most data transferring uh, are performed between units in the local network. It means that uh, we can uh, reduce number of uh, data transferred in the global channel. And in this case, we improve uh, bit rate of global data channel. So, uh, therefore, federated uh, digital architecture gives uh, multiple advantages uh, based on uh, network uh, based on network advantages. And uh, also today we can talk about integrated model architecture. In this case, some federation has been uh, developed to the level of integrated REC. And uh, inside of integrated REC we have a local network as we have in federation. However, it is not a federation of LRU, it is integrated REC. And all line replaceable modules uh, 
perform data exchange within this local network. And uh, some network uh, equipment uh, is used to perform uh, multiplexing or switching between local and global network to perform a connection to all other sensors and all other integrated racks on board of airplane. Thus, integrated modular architecture, it is our future. However, now we are just uh, on their uh, way to this uh, avionics technology. In most cases, uh, digital buses we can classify into two basic uh, types. It can be analog or can be digital. You remember that analog is not welcome, however, they are continuously. It means that uh, we can uh, use analog signal for real-time data processing. However, it uh, it be degraded by uh, uh, noise uh, influence. Digital data bus is uh, secured from uh, noise influence. Uh, however, it cannot provide real data time processing and real data transferring. However, uh, nowadays, uh, digital data transfer uh, buses uh, are used uh, the most. Uh, therefore, next, uh, we will talk only about digital data bus, thus DDB, it means digital data bus. And uh, if you talk about uh, data exchange between uh, different LRUs, we need to talk about main types of digital data buses, uh, which uh, are used on board of modern airplanes. And there are only three of them. First one, when we have single source and a single sync. It means simplex uh, connection in one side uh, data transferring. Uh, this is one of the simplest digital data bus that provide data transferring from one piece of equipment to another. Another uh, type is single source multiple sync. In this case, uh, for network, we can uh, connect uh, for one data bus. We can connect multiple things or multiple receivers which can grab the data from bus. However, they cannot transmit the data in the network. Thus, we can use only one source or one transmitter and all other LRUs, just receivers. Describe the technology for transmitting information from one unit to a certain number of others. Uh, and a great example of such kind data bus is ARING 429. And uh, the third type, it is a fully network topology, which support multiple sync, multiple source connection. In this kind of data bus, uh, each LRU, which is connected to the data bus, can be transmitter or can be receiver. It means that uh, we can transfer the data in any direction based on specific addressing. Uh, in this data bus, several or even more transmitters can transmit information uh, to a certain number of receivers. And uh, as an example of such bus, we can specify MILD STD 1553B or ARING 629. In case if data bus support only simplex connection, we can uh, realize duplex connection by uh, adding one additional simplex channel in opposite side. Thus, if we have uh, 
simplex possibility of data bus. It is not a problem because we can use two data buses of simplex topology to uh, provide duplex connection between two LRUs. And good example, it is ARING 429. You can see that two ARING uh, 429 uh, should be used to support duplex connection between data buses. In civil uh, aviation, there are different specifications for data buses. Uh, the most useful of them, of course, it is ARING 429. It supports point-to-point -point connection, use two wires and bipolar. ARING uh, 573. Uh, for flight data recording system transferring. ARING 629 supports multiple transmitters and receivers mode. ARING 459 it is a special data bus for support integrated modular avionics. ARING 664 support avionics full duplex Ethernet or IFDX technology. ARING 708 uh, is used for visual data transfer, uh, for example from surveillance radar to electronic flight instrument system. ARING 818 for video and audio data transferring. Also if you talk about general aviation, it can use a specific uh, low performance uh, data transferring uh, channels based on avionic standard communication bus ISCB for Honeywell equipment or CSDB commercial standard digital bus uh, from Rockwell Collins manufacturing. Also uh, I can specify that uh, sometime types of sensors can be connected to the system based on uh, computer uh, specification RS-232 or RS-422. If we can uh, compare uh, a speed of data transferring, ARING-429 uh, can support up to 100 kilobits per second bitrate. MILT STD 1553, 1 megabits per second. ARING 629, 2 megabits per second. Also, you can see that there are a plenty of different standards which can support up to 1 gigabit per second or even more. It should be also uh, noted that uh, there are hundreds of different specifications for data exchange and um, each of these specifications can be used uh, at particular case specified by aircraft manufacturer. For example, some of these standards can be used on board of experimental aircraft, on board of military airplanes or on board of UAVs on, or other flying vehicles. Uh, probably that's all for today that uh, I would like to tell you. Uh, thus, uh, thank you for watching. I hope I answered uh, the most uh, simple questions uh, related to digital data bus uh, nature. And uh, next uh, we will talk about ARING 429 and uh, I'm for 629. Thus, it was avionics equipment of civil airplane. See you again a little bit later. Bye.